Look at the light. Isn't that the battery? I think that's the battery. Hello? Hello? Ah, <clears throat> look, sorry about this. Uh, my name is Sean, and uh, back there is Rebecca, my partner uh, in crime. Hello? Bloody good work earlier. Honestly, I mean it. Delivering us all that data. It's really just too bad that our man on the inside was such a, um, <laughs> uh, how, how, how to put it? Fanatic. Fanatic is the best word, I suppose. We take who we can get. Exactly, exactly. Well put. We saw in John an opportunity to burrow deeper into Abstergo's cloud servers, and I'm not ashamed to say we took it. Uh, not realizing, of course, that he was enlisting you to help him. And to blame, should anything go wrong. I suppose it all worked out very nicely in the end. Most of it, anyway. What Sean really wants to say is, if you're up for more hacking, we are too. John gave you level 3 security clearance before you died. You should use it. The assassins don't have the resources to pay you like the Templars do, but we'll make it worth your while. Ah, look, we should really cut it short, Bex. 20 seconds. All right. Good luck. Cheers, mate. And top-notch work. Really top. Give yourself a pat on the back. And happy hacking. Hello, welcome back to Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Welcome back to, uh, well, we're back in the Absurger offices because last time, last time we were pulled out by an ancestor. Oh, Bartholomew Roberts. And we were just like, oh, hello, what are you doing? And he was like, well, I got to kill you now. So that was the thing. We now have level three security access so we can hack everything. And I've just noticed front desk is empty. So why don't we give it a go? All right, we have a, what do we got here? Frogger? I think it's Frogger! It's Frogger! Alright, well, I'll do it. So, yeah, I've been, uh, I've been away for a while. I've been away for a while, and I just need to get back into the game. That's not gonna work. Whoop. Alright, okay. Alright, so we gotta go up, across. Hmm. This might be a little bit more tricky than I thought it might be. It's just a... It's just a step to the left. And then a step to the right. Ooh, that's safe. Okay, cool. Um, nope. These, these frogger ones are a pain in the ass. I prefer the globe one. They're a lot easier. It's like, ooh, what do you want to do? I just want to jump into the globe. All right. Uh, looks like my little ball's going up and down. I don't know why. Oh, because this path is literally pushing us up. Oh, let's go in the middle. There we go. Excellent. Information granted. Access. Bypassing security protocols if only hacking computers was this easy. Our initial reports gave us hope that Enzio Auditori would serve as an ideal candidate for future Abstergo projects. His charisma, sexual magnetism, and wry humor gave him all the qualities of a leading man. However, his corruption by the Assassin Order robbed him of these qualities as he fell deeper and deeper into a spiral of revenge. Enzio was frequently known to articulate a passive acceptance of evil. He was also a man of ugly contradictions, one who preached free thought, yet traveled well beyond his home country to proselytize his corrupted creed, just as he's doing here with this impressionable Chinese girl. Notice, too, that in his gestures and bearing, there is still something of the old lecher in him. Enzio's entire personality is built around pure demagoguery, claiming his philosophy is about love when violence and coercion are his primary means of tackling problems. We have therefore come to the conclusion that Enzio Auditori da Firenze would be a risky character to develop. Alright, they don't like Ezio. Also, they've added an end to his name? Weird. No idea. So we've hacked that computer. Yeah, we got level three security access, so we can basically just hack all machines. Can we get a little little map up? There we go. So we got a machine here and here, and we've got oh server. All right. Uh, let's put a marker there and have a little look. Let's see what's going on. Let's see if we can hack all of this. So, so before we were hacking computers for Bartholomew. Bartholomew Roberts uh, ancestors. Hmm. Now is this our? This isn't our computer. I don't want to jump onto our computer because we can accidentally go back into the main game. But we do need to grab a bunch of data, so we may as well do it. I don't really know why? Question mark. Uh. So let's do this. We need to get into the into the little whirlpools if we can. Whirlpool. No. Oh. Oh, there we go. We accidentally the easy way instead of using the whirlpools. I'll do it. 
If only hacking computers was even that easy. It is! Call breached. Suck out the data! Ah, good. Close communicator. Ah, uh, there we go. So let's just grab the information. Computers hacked 20 out of 33. I mean, these guys really need a lesson in security. I would say. Hi, hello, don't mind me, just hacking your stuff. This isn't my desk. Uh, yes, hack it. So the password is we don't know. We can just fumble our way around. I mean, this is kind of amazing security here. Um, yeah, so someone can just fat finger the security. I'm pretty sure it's not that good. Yeah, how did we get into one of those little whirlpools? The whirlpool would be a good idea to get into. Oh, there we are. And there we go. Ooh, we've done it again. We are the master hacker. If only all computers... I mean, seriously, without a password or without some sort of biometrics, it makes it a little too easy. Unlock the secrets of our past. Powered by Abstergo Industries, Inc. Oh, that does look like an old, uh, old school, like, 70s computer manual. Oh, it really does. That has some portal feelings to it. I'm going to say, Ooh, it's a little bit, of, little bit of portal right here. Hmm. Animus Power by Abstergo. That's not the button I want. I want to insert. Some of these old games, especially these old games from like the late 2000s? Late 2000s. This is 2009. Um, the control systems are a little bit weird. Gonna be honest. Let's have a little, little look, little hack. Oh, it's just gonna be hacking with my fingers. Let's see, can we get ourselves into a... Oh, I want to get myself into a time butthole. Oh, we hacked it accidentally super easy. Huh, weird. What's a time butthole? Have you ever watched Star Trek? They go through the Guardian of Forever, which is just a giant time butthole. And then they're like, who oh, no. knew? Uh, let's not listen to that, because it just talks for ages and it's kind of a little bit boring, but we've hacked it, so that's done. What is this? Employees cubicle, main mission, all right. I, I, I want the... I mean, it's kind of weird that we're literally... They've had a security breach. We almost got taken out by uh, an ancestor of Black Bart. What is that? A oh, map of the city. And um, they're now just letting me wander around with an iPad. Just, uh, just breaking people's computers. A little strange. You thought the cameras would have caught us doing this, but whatever. Uh, let's see. Nope. Nope. I want to... Ah, oh, there we are. That didn't quite do what we needed it to do. Okay, so the problem was the little time buttholes were actually broken and they were spitting me out in the wrong direction, I think. So anyway, we've got it and we'll spin it around. Okay, good. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Call breached. And a little, little bit of that. No, get us out of here. Captain. We are experiencing Klingons. Let's go to the server room. Level 3 access will take us to... I mean... This way? This way? Abstergo? Abstergo? This way? This way? This way? This way! I do love wandering around an office building. I'm just like, oh, you know what? I really wanted to wander around an office building. Oh, there we go. Level 3 access. Okay, cool, and so we can go back and be pirates at some point. We can just be like, ooh, time to be pirates. I wonder if the server's got better security. It, uh, 2058. All right. So, um, okay. So we need to get the 2058. Uh, there we go. Seven, 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 three, seven, two. Gotta say, having five digits to find is a little bit more tricky. 
I could say it's a little bit more tricky, but with the waveform, it's uh, not so bad. Right, what are we doing? Remote computer available. What? Initially, remote hacking. Okay, so we got a hack, and then we got a remote hack. Oh, not Frogger! I don't like Frogger, especially the. Oh my God, this is this is Metal Frogger. All right, don't like Metal Frogger. Um. Okay. Nope. Nope. Oh, there's no rest areas. No. Oh, this is going to be a pain in my ass. Okay, we did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. And across. Ooh, these little hacking games are a pain in my ass. Just like, uh, ooh, did you, uh, did you want the pain in your ass today? No. Our initial research into the life of Ratana Gaiden focused on a period spanning his late teens to his early 30s. But our researchers came away unimpressed by his calm and stoic demeanor, with occasional flashes of extreme anger. This was not the sort of leading man we felt comfortable endorsing. We decided, therefore, to delve into his early childhood, with the hope that scenes of pre-colonial America might hold some appeal. As you can see here, there is a certain naive charm and innocence to this young boy. Unfortunately, our researchers found this young man's story deeply problematic as well. For one, the omnipresence of the Mohawk culture lacks the balance necessary to tell the true story of America. And secondly, the Mohawk language would certainly be an issue for most of our audience. We therefore feel that although Ratana Tankon's early life would be of some interest to our more educated viewers, it's unlikely that his story would appeal on a broader scale, being too foreign, as it were, to normal audiences. Our team recommends we pass on this property. Okay, so Connor Kenway, not uh, not a good property for Abstergo. Of course, they are the Templars and we are the Assassins. Okay, cool, let's go. I mean, I suppose we are finding a little bit more backstory out. Uh, is there anything else we can do here? I think we've hacked everything. We do have the elevator. Do we, do we try and hack everyone's computers? Um, computer's hacked. Oh no, that's not computer's hacked. Computer's hacked. It doesn't say. Oh, weird. I doubt we can actually go up in the elevator unless there's a story reason for us to do it, question mark. Let's try it. Uh, let's try it. Oh, weird. Servers. Floor, floor one. Sample 17. Are we on floor two? Oh, let's go and have a look at the servers, I guess. Can we do that? Can we just wander around the building now, even though we're not story mode? Oh, weird. Okay, cool. Is there anything uh, we can see here in terms of... Yeah, there's loads of stuff. Okay. I mean, it might be worth just doing that. Um, I don't know if it's going to help us at all. Oh, weird. Yeah, we're, we're way down here. We are way back. Uh, okay, so we were here not so long ago, question mark. Because we were all trapped downstairs, down in the dungeon. But level 3 security access just gives us the ability to hack, rock and roll our way through. So I just, just I guess we just wander in. Oh, wait, will the AI be down here? That is a good question, actually. Um, okay, not entirely sure about this one. Am I just going around in a circle? I mean, the whole thing is literally a circle. Yes, I think I am. Good. 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 Not good. This seems to be quite a tricksy one. There we go. They're like, it's super tricky! And then you accidentally solve it. And I'm like, yeah, I like these circle ones. They're a lot easier. A lot easier! I mean, circle ones, number sequence, and then Frogger. In that order. Um, evaluation report, so leaked from somebody. Mm. So they have a they have a bit of a data problem in Abstergo. So we've, we've got the camera control, which we're probably going to need to knock out. We've got the computer on the opposite side, let's go and do that. Uh, over here, question mark, yeah, level 3 security access. There seems to be nobody down here, so that's kind of fun. Ooh, we'll do a little hack. Password is... Oh, I don't know what the password is. Why would anyone ask me? I am just fumbling my way through the computer system. Beep, beep, beep. Alright. 
uh, literally fumbling our way through. Are we? Yes, we're going around in a circle. Identify circle. Uh, it's a big round thing. Identify big round thing. It's this. We did it. I mean, excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Access granted. An extraction sequence initiated. I, there's so many computers to hack. I didn't even realize. I'm sorry. Subject zero, audio file. Goodbye. Because, uh, we got things to hack. People to see. We can always come, well, I suppose I can always come back and listen to it all. Okay, fine. What's in this area? Uh, employee's icon. Ooh. We'll take it. Which is here. Why is there a server level external access? Jobby. Oh. Oh, wait. Is this the main mission? Do we just accidentally the main mission? Gentlemen, how do you find it here? It will work for us. But our goal must be to scatter our operations. To live and work among the people we protect. Just as Altairi Ben Lahad once counseled. Well, until that time, it's yours as you see fit. Edward, Captain Woods Roger survived his wounds. He has since returned to England, shamed and in great debt, but no less a threat. I will finish that job when I return. You have my word. <laughs> Evening, Anne. Edward? I'll be sailing for London in the next few months. I'd be a hopeful man if you were beside me. <laughs> England's the wrong way around the globe for an Irish woman. Will you stay with the assassins? No, I haven't got that kind of conviction in my heart. You? In time, I. Well, my mind is settled and my blood is cooled. Sail ho! Coming into the cove! <laughs> You're a good man, Edward. And if you learn to keep settled in one place for more than a week, you'll make a fine father too. Jackdaw is a ship, Jenny, not a boat. But did you always know? No. No, I learned after leaving Bristol. After you left Mother? Well, I didn't leave your... I didn't leave without saying goodbye, that is. It was an arrangement, you see, between your mother and me. She said you left her. She said you always talked about sailing a boat and making money in the new world. I did always want to sail a ship. That's true. But not for a lot. To support us. And take care of her. You. Not me. Mother said you didn't know about me. She said you worked only once a year and that she never knew to find you. It's all 
all true, and I'm sorry for that. But I know that I might have come home. I hope that I would have. Well, you were busy. That's what I think. I was, but that wouldn't have mattered. I see no boat here. Do you? I mean shit, obviously. I don't see the difference anyway. Ah, it's a very simple one, General. A ship can carry a boat, but a boat cannot carry a ship. Why then, everything is a ship. Large and small. But for my toy boat, the one I take into the bath with me. <laughs> That's a clever way of seeing it. Is it hard to talk about Caroline, Jen? About your mother? Mm, no. She passed some years ago. I miss her, but it's all right. Was she in pain? I don't know. I don't think so. She was very happy for quite some time. Then, not so happy. I didn't see her much after that. Then, she was gone. I... I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. It's all right. You're here now. And we're on an adventure. Now, only a little one, I hope. I can't handle too many more surprises. Do you think we'll see a whale? Yes, there's a very good chance. Hmm. And what about pirates? Will I see pirates? No. Not much chance of that, I think. Oh, uh, that's rather sad. I should have liked to have seen one. Tell you what, Jenny. As soon as these winds die a little, I'll let you steer the jackdaw. One little trick at the helm before sundown. Yay! <laughs> Miss Jennifer Kenway, may I introduce myself? Jennifer Scott, if you please. I'm sorry, I... I... Uh... My daughter was raised by her mother, Caroline, until she passed away some years ago. Jenny prefers to use her surname to mine. Ah, please forgive my ignorance. I will. She may not. Father, help me. This little rascal, however, is a Kenway. What's wrong, Haven? I can't see the stage. Up we go. How's that? Fine. But won't your arms tire? Hey, I'm not so old as that. But if they do, then we shall quit this posh gig and go and meet your mother for some chocolate and whites. How's that sound? Yes, please. Okay, hush now. Congratulations, you finished the game. New relic, portrait, emblem, and title, I guess? I didn't finish reading it. Weird. Okay, so one minute we were hacking, the next minute we went through an extended end of game cutscene, and I was just like, wait a minute. So we've got to the end of the game? Huh. Weird. So, yeah, Caroline, it looks like Caroline bought the farm. She's just like, ooh, I'm a little bit dead, but I'll get better. Don't worry about me. So that's the story, I guess. Um, interesting, 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 interesting. So uh, do we still have? Yes. OK, so if we wanted to carry on doing pirate stuff, we could. We still have uh, Anne Bonnie here. We could go back out to sea and finish off all of the side bits and pieces, I guess. We do have the legendary ships we can go and take out. So if we look at the map and scroll all the way out. Yeah, we got we got a bunch of stuff we could do. So um, we could do the four legendary ships. I don't suggest trying to clear the entire map um, and just get things like the, the main temples. So we could try that maybe. It's up to you. It's up to you. So we could either 
Um, end the game here. Having completed the story, uh, quite unexpectedly to be honest, um, having completed the story, or what we could do is we could carry on and do the four legendary ships up to you. I'm going to leave it there for the time being. So if you like this, definitely leave a little like, leave a subscribe. Um, hmm. I would say leave a like, leave a subscribe, but we just also did a bunch of hacking and I'm just like, well, probably not that interesting. And then it was just like, boom, Edward's got kids, two of them. Oh my word, it's, yeah, a little bit of a, a little bit of head rush that. Um, yeah, leave a, leave a like, leave a subscribe. If you want a notification, click the little bell. If you don't want a notification, don't click the little bell and I'll tell you what, I'll catch you next time.